Hello, my name is Cher Pastore and I'm a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator with CAP Nutrition LLC in New York City. In this clip, we're going to tell you how to calculate net carbs. A net carbohydrate is the grams of fiber subtracted from the total grams of carbohydrate. So, in order to find out the net carbs, you have to know the total grams of carbohydrate in the serving size. So, if we were to take a look at the food label, you first have to find out what the serving size is. In this particular product, the serving size is a half of a cup. In one half a cup, the total grams of carbohydrate is 23 grams. The total grams of fiber is 10 grams. So to get the net carbohydrate, you subtract the 10 grams of fiber from the 23 grams of carb, and you're left with the net carbohydrate. This is important because it has been determined that the net carbohydrate is what will produce a rise in blood sugar. Carbohydrates break down differently. Some affect blood sugars more than others. So when a product has higher fiber, it can break down slower and therefore cause a less rise in blood sugar. So this is important, especially for people who have diabetes. We want to have the sugar rise not as high and much more gradual. So we want people who have diabetes to have higher fiber foods, and therefore we won't have their blood sugar spike as much. So in order to get the net carbohydrate, you just subtract the fiber from the total grams of carbohydrate. Now some other things have been shown for sugar alcohols. So sugar alcohols don't necessarily affect a rise in blood sugar, but it hasn't been determined yet by the FDA if the sugar alcohol should be subtracted from the total grams of carbohydrate to produce a net carb. So if you see on a label net carbs is two grams, it might not necessarily be true if you subtract out the fiber and you don't get that two grams. Once again, this has been Cher Pastore in New York City.